Okay, so just a little project update, but um, so I was trying to make some sulfur trioxide and chlorosulfuric acid for um, arosacrin and also sulfonilamide. Well, now sulfonilamide synthesis is like, why not? I have like used chlorosulfuric acid to make um, sulfonilamide and sulfur drugs, so why not I do that as well? But um, see, so yeah, um, the original idea was to make sulfur trioxide by heating sodium pyrosulfate to decompose it, which does it about 400 degrees. So it's blasting it with this Bunsen burner, like, for a very long time, like I ran out of propane, and it, it, no, there's just no sulfur trioxide whatsoever. And uh, I did get some liquid, but that was just sulfuric acid I used to grease the joints. And um, the rest, and it did fume, but that's just hydrogen chloride, so yeah, there. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna continue. Um, we're probably gonna have to get phosphorus pentoxide it's like what's the deal with pentoxide it's, it's expensive okay so um yeah uh this did not work and um, it's also solidified into a brick so i think what might have happened is that i didn't dry it thoroughly enough or it just um sequestered a bit of water while in storage because i just had that in a pill jar with some, some teflon tape on the threads which obviously doesn't seal well but yeah this is just a giant block so not too but I suspect that's probably just still sodium parasulfate. Although I, it was quite impure when I made it. There's probably some sodium sulfate and other stuff in there that, like, I don't know, like, shuns the production of that, of the SO3. And I think I warped the flask slightly, yeah, it's ever so slightly, but it's not too much, but yeah. So, um, that's just the HCL generator. Uh, these didn't work. Because um, I didn't manage to make any chlorosulfuric acid, I was just using that to make some. I'm gonna tr I was trying to make some anhydrous aluminum trichloride from aluminum. Uh, normally, to do that, you would have to burn aluminum in chlorine gas. Like, to get like even just a few grams, you need like over 20 liters of chlorine gas, which is just no. So, yeah, I was trying to see if I could dissolve aluminum in methanolic HCl, but probably got some water in that because, yeah, but, oh well, I'll probably make a video on ethylene, and meanwhile figure out how to do this, or just bend the project entirely, well not bend it entirely, um, so what, what I skipped over was, um, there are two methods for the synthesis of paratosyl chloride, which the method I was going to use was using chlorosulfuric acid, just mix it with toluene and, like, keep it in an ice bath, stir it for 12 hours, heat it a little bit and ta-da, you have your tosyl, um, paratosyl chloride, but um, there is a different method which also written by William M. Cumming in his um, book, but um, that method involves um, sulfonate and toluene and just plain sulfuric acid, which I have lots of, I have like a lot of it, but um, the next step is then to take equal weight phosphorus pentachloride do you know how expensive phosphorus pentachloride would be? It's a lot more expensive than phosphorus pentoxide, that's for sure. And also, um, I guess I could make it, but chlorine, and um, yeah. So my only real source of phosphorus is white phosphorus from distilling match striker. So yeah, uh, let's just say I would not be able to do that anytime soon. But yeah, uh, this I guess I I guess I sort of want you guys' help because. This was well over 400 Celsius, so I don't know why nothing is evolved. There was some fuming, but that's just probably some, that was some water, and also some hydrogen chloride, but, yeah. So, I guess, where did the sulfur trioxide go? Where is it? Because I have no clue, it's not in there. Well, I guess I could do a test on that to check if it decomposed or if it didn't. It wasn't in any of my glassware, definitely, and it's definitely not even in the HCL generator. So yeah, I'm, I'm a bit stuck on this. For now, I guess I'll just post, like, regular other videos not on the project, because, yeah. And C2N4, I'm just gonna delay that as much as possible, I guess, because, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to work out the problems involving that synthesis, so, yeah. Um, I guess that's an update on this project. So yeah, um, I'll probably just make some ethylene for a video and show you guys that because I have some bromine water that's just been shitting, it's, it's not, it's sitting on the shelf for a while, and 
yeah, I just need to say it's not very good to have that on the shelf for a while, but yeah, just gonna make it flipping banana gas next video. So yeah, uh, that's it for this update. See ya.